Hello, and welcome to MEI University. Over the course of this video, we will be introducing you to the MEI Cashflow VNR Recycler. In today's training, we will cover the difference between the VN2700 bill validator and its predecessor model, the VN2500. We will also do a detailed product introduction of the VNR Recycler and cover the installation, setup and diagnostics and the field programming of the VNR. Chapter 1. Comparing the VN2500 and VN2700 validator models. The VN2700 and the VN2500 share virtually an identical configuration but with four key differences. They are Bill denomination acceptance. Acceptance of 10s and 20s are now available. Compatibility with the high visibility bezels. Compatibility with the VNR Recycler module, which will be discussed in detail later. And the interface. The VN2700 is MDB and 24VDC only. Chapter 2. Introduction to the VNR Recycler. In this chapter, we will discuss an overview of the MEI Cashflow Series 2000 VNR Vending Recycler. The MEI Cashflow Series 2000 VNR Vending Recycler, or VN2700R, is comprised of two basic components, the VN2700 Bill Validator and the Recycler Module mounted to the back of the Bill Validator. The differences are 1. Form and Fit 2. Compatibility with the Vendor and 3. A Display on the Rear of the Recycler Form and Fit the unit is compact in style, will fit in most older and current vending machine models, which must utilize the MDB interface only, and takes about the same amount of space as a standard bill validator. Compatibility The MEI VNR Recycler is already compatible with the next generation of MDB code, which is version 4. In current machines using level 2 and 3 of MDB code, the vending machines recognize bill recyclers as another coin tube available for payout. In the future, vending machines will be considered recycler ready when they include version 4 of MDB code and come to recognize recyclers as a separate type of monetary storage device from the coin tubes. Display Another distinguishing characteristic of the recycler is its two-digit display located on the back of the module. This two-digit display performs three key duties. One, displays how many bills are on the recycler. Two, displays a menu for operators to page through and select from various menu options. And three, displays diagnostic codes and real-time operation codes. Chapter 3, Installation. Before installing, be sure the recycler fits into your vending machine by referring to the Current Machine Compatibility Guide, which can be found on the MEI website at www.meigroup.com and go to the Product page for the VNR Recycler. Installation Note The machine must have a full-faced mounting bracket. First, what's in the box? Upon opening the box, you will find the VN2700 Recycler, a setback frame, which may or may not be used. An installation guide kit, which includes labels and a configuration coupon. And finally, four extender hex nuts. Prior to installation, locate the dip switches on the side of the validator and verify they are all in the off position. This will allow you to use the configuration coupon to configure your validator. This coupon, once inserted, sets which bill denomination and direction the bills will be accepted. If the high visibility bezel is used, the configuration coupon will also program the color and denomination requirements as well. If you do not have a configuration coupon available, you can use the dip switches on the side. Follow the label. Be sure to set the switches accordingly before installing the unit. Open the machine door to gain access to the validator mounting compartment. Then, power down the machine. You will typically need an 1132nd nut driver to replace or install a validator recycler. 
Disconnect the original validator, if there is one, by unplugging the MDB cable and removing the mounting hardware. Then, remove the old bill validator. Install the new MEI VNR recycler into the machine by inserting it into the opening. Add the 1132nd hex nuts to the studs. You will have to remove the recycler to gain access to the lower mounting studs and secure the nuts. To do this, squeeze the yellow lever as shown. Then, slide the recycler module out and let it hang so that you have access to the studs. Install and tighten the nuts. Please note, if your recycler has a green wire, please attach to one of the mounting studs before installing the last hex nut. Then reinstall the recycler to the validator. Make sure the recycler fully engages and locks. Slide your hand under the recycler and ensure that there are no items, such as the lower mounting studs or any coin chute or coin return hardware, making contact with the recycler. If you would remove the bill cassette, then reattach it. Make sure the cassette snaps into place. When the recycler is fully secured and mounted, push the coin return lever on the vending machine and make sure it does not interfere with the bottom of the recycler. Next, make the appropriate MDB connections with the attached MDB cables. The cable that is marked Coin Mac Only, denoted by a yellow flag, goes to the coin changer. The other cable then goes to the vending machine or other MDB device. It is important to note, when connecting to an MDB machine, all MDB devices except the coin changer must be connected directly to the machine before the recycler. The recycler's coin changer cable, with the yellow flag, should be connected directly to the coin changer. Chapter 4, Setup. We will begin with reviewing the default configuration of the recycler. The VNR comes ready to accept $1 and $5 bills and is set to recycle $1 bills. Recycler capacity, which determines what number of bills will be held on the drum, comes set to hold 25 bills. The module can hold up to a maximum of 30 bills. Par level, or the level that you want the route driver to empty the recycler to during a cash collection, is set to 12. Loading the recycler. Once the unit has been configured appropriately, power up the recycler. Because the recycler is empty, a zero will show on the rear display after the power-up sequence is complete. In order to load the recycler, you will need to enter into the load mode. To do this, press and hold the mode button for two seconds and release. The letters LD will flash on the rear display when you have reached this mode. Next, press the select button to enter into load mode. The display will then flash an alternating sequence of LD and zero to indicate that the recycler is empty. Now, $1 bills can be inserted through the bezel on the recycler. Each bill will be validated and stored accordingly on the drum. The unit will then count up from one as each bill is inserted until it reaches the set recycler capacity. If you inadvertently insert an extra bill for drum storage and the drum is full, this bill will be rejected and the display will flash FL for full. Once the recycler is filled, press and release the mode button to go back into normal operation mode. The two-digit display will then display the number of bills on the recycler. Testing. Now that the recycler is installed and loaded, we will demonstrate how to test the recycler. Feed a $5 bill into the validator. The machine may hold the bill in escrow or stack it into the cassette and a credit will show on the machine. Select a product from the machine. If the machine is set to recycle $1 bills with a $1 VEN price, you should receive $4 bills back as change through the bezel. You have now successfully installed and tested the VN2700 recycler. The last item to complete is to choose the labels that you will need and affix them on the machine. Chapter 5 Menu Options There are two types of menus. One menu is for drivers to navigate, 
and the other is for a technician or setup person. Driver Menu There are three menu options or modes available on the recycler for the driver, which are depicted on the two-character display. These modes are Load, Unload, and Coupon Mode. Drivers can scroll through each menu option by pressing and releasing the Mode button after entering the menu mode. Press Select to enter into the menu mode that is flashing. We will review the menu options in more detail now. Load Mode, or LD, is the first option available when you press and hold the Mode button, and discussed in the last chapter. To review this menu option, please refer to Chapter 4. The second available menu option is Unload Mode, or UL. When UL is flashing, press the Select button to enter into this mode. Now, each time you press the Select button, the recycler will stack one bill. If you press and hold the Select button for two seconds and then release, the recycler will continue to dispense bills down to the PAR level. If you want to continue to empty the recycler, you must press and release the Select button one time for each bill to be stacked. If, during the continuous unloading to the PAR level, the menu times out, you will need to re-enter the UL mode. The display will then flash UL and zero to show there are no bills to unload. You may exit this mode by pressing the Mode button. The third menu option is Coupon Mode, or CP. If using the Configuration Coupon, you must first cut out the coupon from the sheet and fill out the coupon with a pencil as follows. Fill one box in Section 1 for Bill Direction. Either 1, 2, or 4 Direction Acceptance can be set. In Section 2, fill out the boxes that indicate which bills you want to accept. In this example, we have filled out the coupon to accept 1s, 5s, and 10s. Section 3 is only used for units that have the high visibility bezel installed. If you want the denomination lights on, then fill in the denom block. If you want a specific color or colors to illuminate on the bezel, then fill in the circles accordingly. To have all the colors blend on the bezel, leave the color section blank. Section 4 refers to the standard VFM or compact bezel green arrows. You can set them to be on steady or flash. Once you have entered the coupon mode, insert the configuration coupon. It will be rejected. As you remove the coupon, the bezel lights will flash. Count the flashes. If you count 10 flashes, the configuration has completed successfully. If there are any less flashes, the flash count indicates which section of the coupon the bill validator is having trouble reading. For example, if there were two flashes after inserting and removing the configuration coupon, then the unit is having trouble reading section 2. Please review the coupon and verify the section is filled out correctly. The Field or Service Technician menu. Entrance into this menu is different from entrance into the Driver menu and is explained as follows. To enter into the Service Technician menu, first press and hold the Select button while observing the display. When you see a double dash, release the button. You now have two seconds to press and hold the Mode button. When the LD flashes, you are in the Service Technician's menu. If you press and release the Mode button, you will scroll through the same menu as before. However, after the CP, you will now see an SU. This is the Setup section and is only accessible in this menu. This menu option is where operators or technicians may change which bills are being recycled, or RB, the interface level or type, or IF, the capacity of the recycler, or CA, the PAR level, or PL, the color scheme of the high visibility bezel, or HB, the accept inhibit option, or AI, and finally, the calibration menu, or PR. There are two menu options in this option, one to calibrate the bill validator and one to calibrate the recycler. This option is not necessary to use unless directed by a help desk person, or you are swapping out recycler modules, or you are adding a recycler module to an existing VN2700 bill validator. The first menu option that shows up in the setup mode is RB for Recycle Bill.
In this menu option, you can set which bill denomination is to be recycled. By pressing the Mode button, you can change the recycler to recycle 1s or 5s, as well as 2s and 10s. For the vending industry, it is recommended that only $1 and $5 bills are recycled. Once you find the denomination you would like to recycle, press and hold the Select button until the display returns to RB. The selection is now locked in. The next menu option is IF for Interface Level. There are several items in the interface menu. The default is L3 for MDB Level 3. When you press the Mode button, you will page through RE, or MDB Version 4, DE, which is the Demo Mode, AU, which is the Auto Interface Mode, and finally L2, or MDB Level 2. The next option in the Setup Mode is CA, or Capacity Mode. This mode is where the level of bills to be stored on the recycler is set. Press and release the Mode button to scroll through how many bills you would like to store. The Mode button only increases the number until the maximum of 30 is reached. Then the number starts at zero. Press and hold the Select button to select the capacity. The next menu option is PL for PAR level. The PAR level is a feature that allows drivers or operators to remove bills from the recycler to the stacker during the collection process. The factory default is 12. This means that during collection, the operator may leave 12 notes in the recycler. To change this level, press and release the mode until you have settled on the desired level. To lock this in, press and hold the select button. HB is the next menu option. Here, the operator may change the settings on the high visibility bezel if installed. As you press and release the mode button, you can scroll through all the color options available to use. The chart can be seen here to determine what color options are available. Blend, a blend of all colors which is the default setting. B, blue. G, green. GB, a blend of green and blue. R, red, RB, a blend of red and blue, RG, a blend of red and green, RGB, blending of red, green, and blue. The next menu option is AI, which stands for Accept Inhibit. The default setting is set to Yes, which means that the feature is turned on. This means the recycler determines which denominations of bills are to be accepted. The recycler makes its decision based on the number of bills available on the recycler for change. Finally, PR is the last menu option. There is another drop-down menu under PR. These items allow a technician to calibrate either the bill validator or the recycler. When entering this option, the first item is CL, which puts the bill validator in the calibration mode. After this mode is entered, the operator must insert calibration paper into the bill entry of the unit and the calibration will proceed. The unit will return the calibration paper and return to the PR menu item upon completion. The unit will reset and then is ready for use. The other menu item under PR is FI. FI starts the process of calibrating the recycler module. The recycler must be empty and this could take up to two minutes to complete. The calibration operation looks like this. The gear shown will be spinning until the calibration is complete. Chapter 6 Recycler Status In this chapter, we will discuss status, diagnostics, and error codes of the recycler. When the bill validator is in normal operations mode, the two digit display will show you the number of bills on the drum. However, there are other indications during operation and diagnostics that the recycler will show on the display. These will be discussed here. Two dashes. If the display shows two dashes, the unit indicates that the recycler doesn't know how many bills are on the recycler. If the gears are turning, as shown, then the recycler is counting the number of bills available. This process can take up to two minutes to complete. After counting, the unit will display the new number of bills on the recycler. During the power-up of the recycler, the unit will always display a specific order of information. When the power-up cycle is complete, the unit will display the current number of bills in the recycler. 
If you call the MEI Help Desk for assistance, the technician may ask you for this information. So please make a note of this before calling. Chapter 7, Diagnostics. In this chapter, we will discuss the diagnostics or error codes that you may experience when operating the VNR recycler. If an error is evident on the unit, an ER will flash on the two-digit display window. It will be followed by a two-letter error code and then the number of bills on the recycler. This sequence of codes will continue to cycle through until the error is diagnosed and cleared. The following are the possible error codes and what to do if you should encounter these errors. CA CA denotes that the cassette is removed or dislodged from the validator. CF. CF indicates that the cassette is full. OP. An OP code indicates someone has opened up the recycler clamshell and the unit will not return to normal operation until it is completely reassembled and is performed a reset. Typically, when the clamshell is closed, the OP code will go away and the unit will display two dashes, then begin to recount the bills in the recycler. If OP does not reset, even after cycling power, this means that there is a hardware failure and it should be returned for service to an authorized service center. JA A JA error is one of three error codes that have more information available within to decipher the error code. To determine this, you will need to press and hold the SELECT button to learn more about your bill jam. To clear this type of jam, you will just need to remove the debris by opening the unit and seeing if you can find the jam. Open the unit as shown. First, remove the cassette and then slide out the recycler. Now, open the recycler clamshell and inspect for debris. If you get a BL, this indicates there is a bill validator cross-channel jam. This means that something is blocking the bill validator near the front of the unit. If there is an AJ, that means the jam is in the lower stacker area. The DR code indicates the recycler drive motor has failed. This is the motor that turns the drum and is not moving correctly. An ST error code means that the recycler drive motor has stalled. And lastly, an IB error code means that an invalid bill was stored on the recycler. The next possible error code for the VNR recycler is CL. The CL code indicates the validator needs cleaning. The CC error code means that there is a communication problem between the recycler and one of the modules that it is connected to. This is another error code that has additional codes within it available to diagnose your problem when you press and hold the select button. The additional codes are CH. CH indicates there is a communication failure between the coin changer and the recycler. To rectify this, inspect the cable and pins for any damage or misalignment. CO. This indicates there is a communication failure between the recycler and the vending machine. Check the pins on the connector and look for any damage to the cable. AC. This denotes that there is a communication error between the bill validator and the recycler. The large three-wire connector on the side of the recycler may not be connected completely or there could be bent pins under the connector. Inspect the pins and reattach the cable. HF is the last error code and it means that there is a hard failure on the unit. Press and hold the select button to get more information on the failure. FA means there is a general unit failure and the unit may need to be replaced. GA means that the gate has failed. TA means that the tachometer has failed. AH indicates that there is a failure in the bill validator hardware. SU means that there has been a setup failure and the coin changer is not compatible with the recycler. Also, some units will have the latest VNR label on the back of the cassette. All codes are listed here as well. Chapter 8 Programming the VN2700 Recycler 
If there is ever a need to reprogram or update the bill validator or recycler, this can be completed by using a bill programming module, or BPM. To do this, you must have a BPM that has the latest recycler and bill validator code on it. Next, you must open the vending machine and power down the payment systems. Find the MDB connector that supplies power and communication to the recycler as shown. Now, disconnect the MDB connector and connect the BPM in between the recycler and the machine or other MDB device. Please note, you will never connect the 30-pin connector on the BPM. That connector is only for service center use. Once the connections are made, power up the machine. The recycler display will power up normally, then the unit will start the download from the BPM. Once the programming starts, you must let it complete. The display will show this during the first phase of the download, and the green light on the BPM will do a double flash as shown. Then the recycler will reset, and the BPM will start programming the bill validator portion of the unit. The display will now show this, and the green light on the BPM will do a constant flash. Once the programming is complete, the recycler will do a complete reset and the unit will do a normal run and stack. The green light on the BPM will remain solid when complete. The programming takes about seven and one half minutes. Please note, if at any time the red light on the BPM begins to do an alternating flash with the green light, there is a problem with the programming cycle and it needs to start over. Once programming is complete, Power off the machine and disconnect the BPM. Then, reconnect the recycler as normal and power it up. This concludes the MEI University VN2700 and Recycler Training. Thank you for your attention. For more information, visit our website at www.meigroup.com or call the MEI Help Desk at 1-800-345-8172 from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday.